always on film as well, you look like a cool, so you guys are going to have a fun time editing that. So pressure's on to pick the good boards. I was going to just chuck heaps in. Big board if we surf bells. The missus always tells me off for having too many boards, but I was actually going to go look at another one today and maybe buy it, but days off I usually get down to Torquay. Um, I love my surfing, so if the surf's ever good, I try and get out. Um, this is a bit of a man cave, got a few boards, um, stuff like that. I like my kite surfing, my spear fishing as well, so I kind of got all the conditions covered, so I can usually find something to do on the day off. I'll have to find the little GoPro thing, it's in here somewhere. Oh, I surf kind of whenever it's good. Um, it's not often that good. <laughs> but then, I don't know, sometimes you're like sore as and it's crowded and there's not many waves, so I kind of just sit on the couch those days. But um, yeah, we do have good runs where I'd surf every day. A couple of times. Oh, there is. Off season's kind of when I really get my surfing done. Um, usually going a trip overseas to Indonesia or something where it's nice and warm. Um, and then, yeah, come back here and don't surf too much because it's too crowded and it's cold. <laughs> I started surfing, I don't know, when I was young, my dad actually grew up on the beach in New South Wales. Um, and every Christmas we used to drive up there and spend uh, the whole school holidays just at my grandparents' beach house. Um, so yeah, it was kind of a summer thing. And then as I got older, as soon as I got my license, I'd come down here all the time. Uh, one of my good mates, Tom Boyd, has a house down in Anglesey, so I used to just stay at his house. I was looking in the city actually to buy a house and then I just kept getting frustrated because there was too much competition. Um, and then I saw a block of land down here and had been on the market for a year or two. Um, so I bought down here just thinking after footy I'd be happy to live down here type thing. So um, I wasn't too concerned about if it went up or down. Um, and that was kind of before COVID and then COVID hit and everything just went crazy. So kind of got lucky when I bought down here and have yeah, been built the houses. They finished end of 2020. So I've done my cert three and four in carpentry. So I was actually doing a fair bit of the work. Um, with a few mates on them. Getting down the coast, it definitely feels like a holiday every time. Um, I know footy's just not as big down here or people are more concerned about what's the surf doing rather than how you went on the weekend. So yeah, coming down here, definitely a mental refresher every time. You can't be on your phone out in the water. I always find that pretty helpful. Um, you can't be checking Instagram or your form or what the media are saying or anything like that. So um, you do get a good break down here. Oh, I used to have a few surfing buddies. Dan Butler was the main one. Um, he's now at the Saints. And then Hugo Ralph Smith fancied himself as a bit of a surfer, but I can't convince him to ever come out. He surfed a few times with me in the hub, and then since then he thinks he's become a golfer, so he's not anymore. And then Caleb Smith and Bauer, Jacob Bauer's tried a few times, but um, yeah, they're not that good, so <laughs> I don't invite them down if the surf's looking good. Ideal conditions for surfing, offshore wind, so blowing from the land out to sea. Down here, you kind of want low tide for most of the reefs. Um, and then, yeah, just a bit of swell. We got all our swell from the Indian Ocean, so you can kind of tell a week or two out if it's going to be any good. Um, unfortunately, so can everyone else, so if it's ever any good, there's usually a fair few people out here. And it's cold. <laughs> so, yeah. Winky Pop, it's probably where we're going to go out, depending on how slow it is. Bells Beach. We'll just go out there. Just up it. There's better waves out there. So if I get cold, I'm going to blame it on you guys because I brought my short sleeve on. <laughs> so I used to be able to bring my dog down to surf, but now he tries to swim out with me. Like, I used to just leave him on the beach. But he's got too... He's got too ambitious, and so now he, like, he tries to swim out for me. So I'm just going to go on my stock standard board. I want to surf all the time. I'm not a massive fan of very neat wax drills. Some people will look at this and absolutely hate it, but... I'll probably try and sit, like, down low. Yeah. I'll be kind of where that guy's taking off around there. Yeah. Okay, so no sharks. Sure. Make sure you come back.
finally get some waves over knee height, but I haven't really surfed anything that size for a couple of months. I was pretty rusty. I haven't surfed that board for a while as well, so kind of felt a bit a bit of a kook. Probably oh, always on film as well, you look like a kook, so you guys are gonna have a fun time editing that. Day off, you're a little bit sore always after pre-season. A couple of big training sessions, so a bit sore out there, but um, a bit of cold water and movement always helps, so just gonna go grab some lunch. Grab some lunch and then maybe have another look and go out again and then head back up to the city tonight and have another big training session tomorrow. A month to go until kind of practice matches start. Uh, it's gonna be interesting, it's always hard to see how you're going. Um, because you're just playing, playing yourselves, you know the structures, you know what people's strengths and everything's are, so it's always hard to gauge, but um, the energy's high, a um, few new ideas from the coaching staff, and I know the excitement's kind of there, so it um, should be interesting once games come around. Ooze is slotted in seamlessly. Um, yeah, he just seems like one of the boys already. It seems like he's been here for a long time, even though it's only been a couple of months. So, so we're going to lunch at the kiosk, Brecky burrito. Every time a mate comes down here, I force him to get a brekkie burrito. They're the best, best feed in town. When we're on site, like I would go twice a day and get brekkie burritos and coffees for the whole crew at the site. So, gets me off site for 20 minutes, and you get a brekkie burrito in your stomach. So, if you do head down to Torquay, make sure you get one. Not sponsored. I'll take. <laughs>